Okay, so Square Enix has decided to give us a just a terrible banner uh, to replace the pretty good ones. So I hope you guys all guilt to draw Illustrated Kairis if you could. Uh, should have been getting Key Art 5 today, which is awesome. Congratulations. Ignore this banner entirely. we got to put up with it for a couple days until we get another good one. Um, and in the meantime, I thought we'd talk about the perk system a little bit and just in particular the skill perk system. I believe I understand that one quite well. Um, and we can sort of talk about like which skill perk, which perks are advantageous to have on at particular times and maybe when to switch them up. So let's have a little look here. Okay, so I've made this little graphic here and basically you can obviously see that I've got various skills that people might be using at the moment. Uh, you know, attack boost 2, attack boost 3, and it's associated, you know, APPs and Lux and so on and so forth. Uh, defense boost 2 and 3, and second chance, and second chance 2. Now, the thing with that, second chance 2 is not out in the global version just yet, but it will be eventually, which is half the reason I'm saying don't even bother getting these skills to thrill deal. The only part of that skills to thrill deal that is potentially tempting is having another copy of second chance. The reason why you don't want to is because second chance 2 is on the horizon. And just have a little look at that activation rate. 32% for the standard second chance versus 69% for second chance too. Now let's explain this skill system just a little bit. One second. Okay, so I put in the values of plus 12 and plus 21 into the other columns there as opposed to the natural or nat percentage. So the reason I put in plus 12 and plus 21 is 21 is the current peak. So I don't know if you've ever looked into your... Uh, accessories but essentially you have various different slots and you can equip accessories that have these skill perks on them skill perks typically come in plus three or plus six and the current maximum we can have is three slots containing plus six and one slot containing plus three for an overall plus 21 to do that I believe you'd have to buy the Halloween Donald board which is half the reason I'm making this video now given that it's back into the shop uh, for a discounted price it's actually a pretty good time to pick it up and I'm kind of considering it, so, considering it myself, therefore I wanted to make this video. Okay, so let's have a look at the difference here. Let's take, I don't know, let's take AB3 plus APP plus LUS plus. Uh, that is a standard activation rate of 51%. So you might be thinking, okay, I've got around about 12%, uh, plus 12 right now, and I've gotten that from plus 6 here, like let's say from the, uh, the Moogle board from Union Cross. You've got a plus 6 little Moogle plush. You've gotten a plus three crown from one of the free avatar boards, and you've got another plus three piece from, I don't know, somewhere else. Okay, so you've got a plus 12 skill perk on at the moment, and what that really gives you is roughly roughly another extra 6% onto your AP3 plus AP play plus Lux plus. That is a mouthful. I, why, why did I choose that one? Anyway, uh, what I was kind of thinking of, is it worth the 1,500 jewels to buy the Halloween Donald board? And bump it up to plus 21 like what would be what would the advantage be what would the cost versus percentage be so if i was to buy that board i'd only really be squeezing out well in that particular case roughly four four and a half percent more chance of activation if i was to use those perks um which you know that could add up over time with a 54 percent you go from 60 and a half percent activation rate from plus 12 up to 65.3 percent at plus 21 that's not bad. 65.3%. That's activating two out of three times. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent odds. Again, really where it shines though is second chance two. Have a look at that. From a 69% average, if you have plus 21, that goes up to 83.5% activation. That is friggin' ridiculous. That is almost, almost going to activate every single time. You know, 17 out of 20 times that'll activate, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, in the meantime, until we get that, the measly, <laughs> like, roughly one-third activation time of the current second chance goes up to, you know, failing six out of ten times, which is still bad, but it's marginally improved. Um, and defense boost. Now, defense boost goes from activating, you know, roughly two-thirds of the time up to uh, just, just under half of the time for both defense boosts. So... It's a marginal improvement, but given how many times you could be wanting to use it, that could just be enough to get you get you over the line in certain quests. Like, let's say you're going up against a copter fleet, which hits you, is it two or three times? Um, and let's say that means you now 
guarantee yourself to take at least one hit. It's ne- Sorry, never a guarantee, but you can be very pretty damn sure that you'll survive at least one hit now. Um, which may be enough. It may be enough to save you. It may not, but it may be enough to save you. Okay, so um, I can link this little image in Discord. as a Discord image. If you like, I'll put it down in the description. If it's interesting to you, maybe it's not. Um, I found it kind of interesting to see, you know, just how much chance of activating these things have. Anyway. Okay, so let's look at my outfit now. I've got a plus three skill perk on the head. I've got another plus three skill perk somewhere else. Let's have a quick look. Item drop. Should be around here somewhere. Perfect. Okay, there's a a plus six skill perk on my shoulder. And that must mean that there's a plus skill three perk on my uh, my back. So out of the three slots, three of them are given up to plus six skill perks. Now, if I was to buy the Halloween Donald board, I would get another two plus six pieces, except one of them would be replacing a plus three for an overall net total of plus nine. Does that make sense? I'm getting plus six into a slot that I don't currently have anything in, and I'm replacing the plus three with a plus six, giving me an overall additional nine. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and spend the 1500 jewels on increasing that 12 up to a 21, basically. I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah. But what if we didn't want to use skill perks every single time? Like, why would we potentially not want to use that? If you'll notice these special attack gauge 1 and 2 skills, they both have a 100% activation rate no matter what level they're at. So you never ever have a chance of failing those. Therefore, if you were to want to use a lot of these things, or attack boost 3 maxes, or the combination skill attack boost 3 max plus special attack gauge 2, you'd never really have to worry about the skill perks activating, would you? So you could feel free to use like critical hit perks or some of the other ones. We'll talk about the other ones in a second, but... Let's stay with critical hit perks for now. Critical hits, I believe, deal or have a very small chance of dealing a critical hit. And I don't know the exact rate or the... I don't really know any concrete data on how much each perk increases the chance. But if I had to guess, I'd say 1% or using a similar multiplier to the one I showed you before. The current activation rate times 1 point, whatever your skill perk is. Uh, critical hit perk is would be the, the new critical hit rate again I have not seen any concrete data on those on that math but I imagine it's one of the two uh, most likely the second one anyway with the critical hits from what I see if an area of effect attack triggers a critical hit on one of the enemies sorry if it, if it triggers a critical hit it will typically hit just one of the enemies so like in an area of a, a, if an area of effect attack any of the let's say three enemies that you're fighting could be afflicted by that critical hit and it would deal additional damage for the duration of that attack, I'm pretty sure. So let's say it was um, this metal here that deals 13 hits. I believe if one of the enemies is afflicted by a critical hit during the attack, all 13 of this attack's hits will all be critical hits, I believe. This is just my observation from what I've seen. Now it could be wrong, but that's just what I've observed. Um, so again, if you had, like I said, attack boost 3 max everywhere or special attack gauge 1, or things where you weren't really concerned about damage, um, or like the skills, you didn't have to worry about the skill proccing basically. You could feel free to switch over to critical hit perks instead. But I think for quite a while, we're gonna be needing to use skill perks instead. Um, just while we're getting new things like, like attack with three max, plus lux, plus APP, which only has that 51% chance. Um, we really want that to activate as often as possible. So skill perks, I think are the way to go. Uh, let's see what else we have. Okay, we have Rare Enemy Perk, the Raid burst, raid Boss Perk, the Raid Boss Omega Perk, and the Item Drop Perk. I believe are the only ones left. Rare Enemy uh, is good just about every time, um, because usually the Rare Enemies that spawn in levels are beneficial. The Golden Triclomas, for example, um, that occasionally drop you know, nice little rewards, depending on the event quest that you're in. Uh, they're like the Money Eggs or the Growth Eggs that appear during the story missions. Uh, The only time you don't want that, in fact, is when you're doing proud mode and you're trying to kill every enemy in one hit. Having a friggin' um, (laughs) having a growth egg or a money egg show up in that event is very, very annoying, actually, because it typically costs a decent bit of SP to take it out. Uh Aha, sorry. Uh, Raid boss, the regular raid boss perk, that one there with the Ren and Seraphi. I really don't think you ever want to have that on. 
I can't imagine an event where you'd ever want a raid boss over an Omega raid boss. Um, and for each raid boss regular perk you have on, you have a decreasing chance of getting an Omega. I really can't imagine, unfortunately, that you ever, 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 ever want to have those on. Um, yeah, no, I can't think of any reason why. You really do want Omega uh, raid boss Omega perks on because they give out lots of lucks and really good rewards, like a high level Omega Behemoth, people typically form, farm those during the, um, the non-event raid weeks just because of the insane amount of likes they give off and the, uh, the, uh, the planes, the red planes that they give off and the evolution materials and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I can't really imagine a time where you'd ever want the regular raid boss perk on, which is a shame because, you know, you have some pretty cool looking stuff there, like these little <laughs> World of Final Fantasy characters, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't think you ever, ever want to use those. Uh, item drop. So, item drop, when you are farming for event medals that drop from particular enemies. I don't know what the math is, I don't know how it works out, but may as well stack the odds in your favor, put on as many item drop perks as you can, and just pray, basically. When the Maleficent, uh, the Maleficent farming event came around, I just slapped on as many item drop perks as I could, and just away we went. Um, I believe that's about it. Raid boss, item drop... Rare enemy, yeah. I believe we talked about all the perks. So, again, I think I'm going to load up on skill perks pretty much wherever I can, just because I kind of need them. I don't have, like, lots of max skills. I have, like, the APP plus and the likes plus and da-da-da-da. So, especially for the meantime, I think I'm going to be using a lot of, like, APPs, and, like, for defense boost and second chance procs, I'm going to need all the skill perk that I can get. So I'm going to load myself up with like as much skill back as I can get, basically. Um, until the time comes when we get second chance too, and like lots and lots of max skills. I'm pretty sure you guys are all going to be playing the same way. Um, but that's just a little bit more information, especially for new players. But, you know, some old ones as well. I didn't know a lot of this stuff until I researched it. So I hope this video has been informative for you guys. Um, yeah, I'd love to put out new ones on new content, but we're having the same problem we keep having all month that... There's not much to talk about in terms of <laughs> what's happening. Um, we got the brooms in the VIP, which I called it, but you could see it coming a mile away. Um, don't be upset. We're going to get brooms in regular content pretty soon. They'll be in the avatar boards. They'll be in the Colosseum boards and the raid boards. Da, 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 da. It'll take a while, but they get there. They will definitely get there. So have no fear. We'll get them eventually. But um, yeah, VIP players will get to lord their three Mickey and Brew medals over us for a little bit longer, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually, guys. Don't you worry. Okay. Um, I believe that's about it. I believe that's about it, so I'm going to cut it off here. I'll say all the best to you guys, and I'll talk to you as soon as I can. Alright, guys. All the best. Bye.